here at the oldest tavern in Delaware, in Middletown, Delaware. So let's go in, have a drink, find out the history of this place and who stayed here and well, who's been here. So let's go. We're at Sully's Irish Pub at the Witherspoon, the oldest operating tavern in Delaware. It was founded in 1761 by a man named David Witherspoon who emigrated here from Ireland. Uh, while it was the Witherspoon Tavern, we had a couple of historical figures stop in, Thomas Jefferson and George Washington. Thomas Jefferson stopped in during the Revolutionary War, George Washington stopped in afterwards. Uh, we do have their journal excerpts and pictures hanging on the wall just over here, you should see a picture of that soon. Following the Witherspoon Tavern in 1844 became the Middletown Hotel when it was purchased by Bob Cochran and it had this Victorian looking feel to it. Um, there is a mirror hanging in here that we know for sure was in the Middletown Hotel. Not sure about the tavern. Uh, that's celebrating our 250th year anniversary. This year is going to be our 260th. We also have one of the original signs hanging right up here. From the original Middletown Hotel, it's over 100 years old. It was found in the cellar by our current owner, Chuck Sullivan. Uh, following the Middletown Hotel, there was a fire in 1946 on Valentine's Day. Not sure what caused the fire, but it burned down the top two floors of the building. But this current floor and the basement remain. Uh, from there, they went and started to rebuild it. As they were rebuilding, there was a man named Odie Walker, who was a brick mason by trade. One of the support beams here, you can actually see his signature on there. So the current caretaker, Chuck Sullivan, found a picture of it, framed it, put it up there. And we also have a drink special named after him as well. Following the Middletown Hotel, it became the Witherspoon Bar and Package. I know it changed hands a couple of times over the years, but it mostly remained the Witherspoon Bar and Package until 2009 when Chuck Sullivan came in and purchased it and it became Sully's Irish Pub at the Witherspoon. Uh, we remodeled in 2017, so we redid the floors and we reshaped the bar into a this U shape you see here. The wood came from a company called Aged Woods where they re uh, refurbish old woods. Uh, this wood actually came from an old Jim Beam barn in Kentucky. And one of the other cool things is the Ever Theater sign hanging right above on top there. It's a historic theater for Middletown, Delaware. Also, this picture is right underneath it of the Dead Poet Society that was filmed in Middletown, Delaware, out, outside of the original Ever Theater. Those are the two things. That's pretty cool, Dead Poet Society in the movie. The Dead Poet yeah. Poe Society. That's pretty cool. They their filming in 1988 with Brown Williams. The, there's a stack of old bricks that sit back there in the back. Those are old bricks from the building. They are, they Maybe. Just, I'm actually not sure about that. It could be. That's pretty cool that George Washington, so back when the tavern, when they first come through here, it was a tavern and a hotel and, to my a, understanding. and a brothel. I don't know about the brothel. <laughs> <laughs> and a brother, yeah. Anyway, that's funny. That's funny. I'm one of those guys who are traveling through here on their way to Washington, D.C. or somewhere like that. Probably from, from Pennsylvania or somewhere. Probably. So we're in. Thank you. Thank you for telling us about your place. And it's just cool to be at the oldest bar. That's a lot of history because we come from Missouri. And the history goes back to maybe 18th, early 1800s. But there's no really buildings that are pubs or taverns. Most of them that, the yeah, yeah. Not, nothing old like that. And uh, so... 1761, a lot of 1761. Yeah. Thanks for the beer. Absolutely. All Thanks, right. guys. For anybody that knows me, I probably spent the most of my years in my 20, my in my 20s hanging out at pubs. So, I just thought it was a cool place to come check out. It's the oldest pub in, in, in Delaware. And there, there's a house that's sitting here in town. Everybody knows I like to flip houses. But let's go take a look at this house that's down here. I think it's a pretty interesting house to look at. So let's go take a look. So before we go take a look at that house, this just caught my eye, a stack of bricks. Now, it's just not any stack of bricks. These are bricks from a hotel that Thomas Jefferson has stayed in. Who wouldn't want bricks in their, in their flower garden or somewhere that you could say, hey, these are Thomas Jefferson bricks. The Nobody would believe the story. It'd just be a, an old story that your mother would tell you from when you're a little kid.
I had to get out of that pub. Before you know it, I'd have a hangover in the morning. So there ain't no sticking around there. But this house is right here and it's all made out of stone. And if I was gonna hang up my sails or I was looking to flip a house, this would be the house I would do. But this house, this town has hundreds and hundreds of old homes. So it's just up my alley to where if I was looking for a house to flip, this would be the good town to do it in. And I've been around some of these towns and I think Middletown is the place to where I'd flip a home. So let's go take a look at this house. So now we've seen some of the houses in Middletown. The last place we stopped is at Harbor Freight on the way out back to the boat. I watched Zingaro and I seen him with his bill just filling up and he didn't have any electricity. It makes me want to buy one of these trash pumps. This one here is 10,000, it'll knock 10,000 gallons out in a one hour. And this one will do 2000 So this one's pretty close to what my bilge will do on the sailboat. I don't know which one to get. I don't know which one to get. I think I'm going to go with the small one. Someday my boat will be sinking and I'll be like, man, I should have bought the one. Because those are the same price. $219, $199 almost. And uh, maybe I should hold off. Give me some comments. Tell me what you think, which one I should get, the bigger or the smaller. So now that we made it around the freight liner, we found we made it to some open water to sail. You know, this was my last chance to go and sail the boat before I had to pull her out. The strut's leaking and it's, le it's been leaking and it's been getting worse. So now you see that stream of water. That's probably a gallon a minute, but my bilges are keeping up. So I was taking a chance. And when I say taking a chance, stay tuned for the next video coming out and you'll see why so thanks for watching this is not how you remove a cutlass bearing <laughs>